how to be eternally saved in five minutes. There's three simple points. Point one, all have sinned and deserve hell. Romans 3.10, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. So everyone is a sinner, they've come short of the glory of God, and they deserve death, which is a spiritual death in hell. Now you may be thinking, well, I'm not that bad a person, I'm pretty good. Revelation 21.8 says this, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters, and you say, that's not me. And the verse says, and all liars. And if you lied once, you're a liar. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The reality is all of mankind is sinners and they deserve eternity in the lake of fire. But point number two, the gospel is that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. 1 Corinthians 15.3 says this, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15.1 that that's the gospel. The good news is not what you can do for God, it's what God did for you and Christ did it all. Point number three, salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, with no works required. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says this, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's not your merit. It's not your resume. Not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Salvation is a gift. It's not based upon your works. Romans 4, 5 says this, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. God doesn't count your works for righteousness. He counts your faith for righteousness. There's something he wants you to believe and trust, and that's the gospel. Titus 3, 5 says this, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. In Acts 16, Paul was in a jail in Philippi, and the Philippian jailer asked him the famous question, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Paul didn't tell him to join a church. He didn't tell him to tithe. He didn't tell him to get water baptized, to offer a sacrifice, to keep the commandments, or do works of charity. He told him none of those things. What he told him was, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. He was telling him to believe in the Lord's death, burial, and resurrection. Romans 3.24 says this, Being justified freely by His grace. God justifies by His grace as a free gift. We don't have to earn it. We don't have to work for it. Romans 3.25 says that God sent forth Christ to be a propitiation, a satisfaction of His wrath, through faith in His blood. What God expects of us is faith in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, people may sometimes say, well, but it can't just be grace. There has to be some works you have to do. But Romans eleven six says this, And if by grace, then is it no more of works? Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no more work. See, you're either saved by works or by grace, not by a combination of the two, and you can't be saved by your works because you're a sinner, which means the only way you can be saved is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. 2 Corinthians 6, 2 says this, Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Friend, you can resolve your eternal destiny this moment. You don't need to work for it. What you simply need to do is to trust the blood that Jesus Christ shed for you on the cross. The moment that you trust what Christ did for you and not what you're trying to do for yourself, when you trust Christ, God will save you by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Resolve the issue of your eternity today.